friends, welcome to my den um, for this last shave video in this den. So, um, so yeah, kind of a, I guess kind of a special video in a way, kind of a, I don't want to say a sad video because I'm actually happy to be moving, I'm happy to be getting out of this place, but it is sad in a sense that, um, you know, uh, the entire time I've been wet shaving, it has actually been here. And, um, yeah, and my den really isn't my den anymore, to be honest. I, uh, only got a couple things left in here. I have one soap, uh, a bomb, a splash, and a couple razors, and three brushes. Uh, everything else is packed up and ready for the big move. So, anyway, we will get right into it. So, see if you can decipher what today's video is from that. Yeah. Got all scratched up, unfortunately. Uh, this is Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements CAD or Cease and Desist. And there it is there. The big old school eight ounces of soap. Look at that. Just look at all that soap. Crazy. Uh, the reason why this one is left out is... Um, uh, in the Canadian Wet Shavers, uh, one of the guys, uh, Jason Bryant, you will uh, know him from YouTube as well. Shaving with JB. Uh, he came up with an idea to do a finish it February. Uh, brush is going to be my, once again, the um, Spiffo Jackson. Very, very nice brush. 24 millimeter high white mountain badger. So yeah, we'll get in here and just load the ever-loving piss out of this. So yeah, he got this idea to do finish it February. So soaps um, that are, you know, kind of being close to being finished or maybe you have a lot of soap and you want to finish it up. And uh, so that was his idea. So uh, I've been wanting to kill this soap off for a while. And uh, the reason is the scent on it has changed and it's loading very nicely. Uh, the scent on this has changed over time. Uh, anybody that's in the know of Phoenix Artisan, you know it's been a long damn time since they came in these tins. This was right, right after he branded as um, Phoenix Artisan uh, when he switched over from howtogrowamustache.com. So, this is an old, old, old soap, and it has changed scent on me, which is something I've really never had happen with a soap, and that's not a knock on Doug, so hopefully nobody construes it as a knock on Doug. Just, I don't know what happened. It's lost some of its sweetness. It's lost what, what makes it CAD, which is a take on um, Barbersol. Right, that's uh, that's where this soap that's where this soap got its name from. Because uh, when it first came out, it was uh, oh geez, my memory is gonna oh my memory, I'm losing it. Barber pole. When it first came out, it was HowToGrowAMustache.com Barber Pole. And I remember when it first came out, everybody was going nuts for this stuff. And it was hard as hell to get. And um, the tin uh, looked reminiscent of the, uh, the Barbersol cans with the same stripes. And Barbersol didn't like that. So they, uh, uh, they sent a cease and desist letter to Doug. And so CAD was born. Uh, exact same soap, just with the new name, CAD for Cease and Desist. And anyway, um, so this is a souped up version of Barbersol. It smells like Barbersol, but better. It has the same scent notes to it and kind of the same sweetness. But anyway, uh, what happened to the soap over time is it's kind of lost that sweetness and it's... It's, it's Barbersol scent, and it smells more like uh, the competitor's uh, soap, which I'm not going to mention on by name, um, uh, but they have something similar. 
and uh, I'm not going to mention them by name, but this other competitor has this soap and a splash that is a dupe of, uh, I think it's Yves Saint Laurent, Rive Gauche, or Rive Gauche. So they are in the similar category, but CAD was always sweeter. And people may say I'm nuts. It's like, no, so close you can't really tell. Uh, the thing is, I still have the matching bomb, and this matching bomb smells completely different from the soap. This still smells like CAD. It still has that sweet smell that drove me absolutely bonkers because I really, really love the scent to CAD. So this still has the scent. The soap doesn't. So making a really, really long story longer. But I mean, let's be honest. You guys got nothing better doing than watch me today, right? On a nice Saturday. Anyway, to make a long story longer, uh, when Jason got the idea to the finish of Friday, I was like, yes, I know exactly the soap I'm going to use. It's a good challenge because it's damn near a full eight ounces of soap, maybe seven ounces left in there. And I really want to get a new one, but I don't want to get a new one until I use this up. Because this, for me, even though, you know, I buy a lot of Canadian products, support Canadian, as far as I'm concerned, this is a den staple. I have to have this in the den. Probably my all-time favorite barbershop scent is CAD. Now, it still smells good. Don't get me wrong. It just doesn't have that scent that I'm really used to and really, really loved. So, so yeah, I'll have, to, uh, I'll have to use it up. But, I mean, it is lathering up like a boss. I mean, this is an older formula. Is it as slick as the newer stuff? No, not quite. This tin of soap is probably four years old or more. So things have come a long way in four years. But you know, it still performs good though. So how's everybody's weekend? Mine is going pretty good. I think we're, we're almost completely packed of everything that we need to pack. Getting ready for the big move. Just need to find out when we're moving. Uh, I called the new landlord yesterday. Didn't return my call. I don't know about that, but um, he's waiting to find out from the tenant that's actually in the place we're moving to when she's going to get the fuck out so they can get in and uh, clean and paint. And she's not returning his calls. Makes me wonder if she, uh, she got the boot. That's what I'm thinking is what happened. She got the big boot. And, uh, yeah. Worst case scenario is she's going to stay right to the bitter end and they're not going to have any time to really do any painting. Well, they'll have to do it, but they'll be rushed to do it. And we'll be rushed to get our asses in there. Now, I've already talked to my landlord here and uh, said, you know, I may have to be here till the 3rd of February. Well, which probably will be anyway, because we can't move on the weekend. We can't get movers in here on the weekend. So, anyway, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All I know is we're moving at some point here, <laughs> whether it's the end of next week or this coming week or the very first of the following week. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get it all figured out and get out of here. And then uh, I'll take a bit of time to uh, take a bit of time to get the new den set up and kind of get moved in. And, you know, all that crap you gotta do when you move, right? You're gonna hang curtains and blinds. Oh my lord. Actually, no, no blinds. I don't use blinds anymore, it's all curtains, so. And my poor wife is freaking out about that. Cause she's like, well, I don't know how to put blinds up or curtains. And I'm like, well, I can help you. So the razor for this, I mean, come on. You know what it's gonna be. You know the razor before I even reach for it. It is the Curve Christopher Bradley Stainless. C-plate with a Voscod uh, third use. So yeah. Beautiful, beautiful weapon for this last shave. Um, yeah, so C-plate 0.85 millimeter blade gap with a 0 0.09 millimeter positive blade exposure for your whisker removal pleasure. This has the uh, four inch handle. 
which is uh, weighing in at a whopping 114 grams total. She's a big boy. I'm actually very much looking forward to getting my aluminum one in. Which has the four inch handle as well. Uh, because I ordered, uh, well yeah, the four inch handle. And because um, I ordered all my cars in four inch. And uh, I think the total weight for the aluminum with the four inch handle is only 40 grams. So, uh, very big difference in the weight, obviously. We're going from, let's see, we're going from 114 with the stainless and the four inch handle to 120 grams with the brass and the four inch handle and then we're gonna just and that's what I'm used to using now is those heavy razors like even my fat boy when I grab that and take that one for a spin it feels like there's nothing in my hands um so yeah grabbing that uh, that aluminum is gonna be interesting really really used to having the razors doing all the work may have to put a little bit of elbow grease in with the uh, with the aluminum but Chris Madden swears by it. He says it's the best razor in the world in the aluminum version, so I'm very excited to try it. Yeah, great first pass. I mean, like I said, this you know this soap base is pretty old. But I mean it's still got the juice, if you know what I'm saying. Still nice and slick. Lathers up easily. Good performance. I don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to tell you. All right, second pass. A cross the green. Oh yeah. Oh, four days growth too. By the way, didn't mention that when I started this. And four days growth. And like, yeah, even the residual slickness is there. Like, I don't know, you know. All these bases are going like crazy. You know, they're get, everything's getting crazy slick, but... Even this is still crazy slick. Like, I don't know. I don't know how much more things can be improved on, if you know what I'm saying. I think we're getting to a point where maybe even a plateau, if one would be so daring to say that. That I don't know how much more each artisan can actually improve on their base. Because we're going to really start getting into the, the smallest of minutiae in between each artisan, I think. I'll tell you one thing, the shave is going swimmingly well. I've, I've tried to daily shave, but you know, even going back and forth between the curves, which are really, really smooth... And they shave me really, really well. Like even bouncing back and forth between the B plate and the C plate, I still end up getting a bit of irritation on that second pass, on that sideways pass. Sometimes just, I don't think my skin likes to daily shave because they got, because I can lop off, you know, this four days of growth with the C plate and then come in tomorrow behind it with the B plate. And I mean, I may get a great shave or I may get irritation. It's just, ah, it's all up in the, all up in the wind. This shaving every four days is great, but but then again, I don't like to shave every four days. But yeah, look at that lather. That's oh, that is one 
Look at that brush. There's one, one well-built lather. Mm, you'd almost think I knew what I was doing. Now, consequently, I used this soap the other day, and I didn't get the greatest shave. I didn't get the greatest lather with it. I mean, the lather was good. I don't think I hydrated it enough. Because I think I loaded way, way too much. So smooth. Yeah, that's a thing of beauty right there. Love the heavy razor, just let it do its thing. I bet you with the aluminum, even if you don't bear down on it, it'll still cut great. All right, cold water rinse and we'll finish up this last video. Great shave though, nothing wrong with that. Not a thing wrong with that. That was a great shave. Perfect lather. And like I said, that soap still performs. Still, still working really, really well up there with the, well, you know, I have, uh, with their newer formula even, and just standing up at the top of the heap with the rest of the top tier performers, including, you know, my favorite artisans. And, you know, PAA is one of them. I, I do like PAA stuff. There's no doubt about it. Great shave. Great residual slickness, too. All right, let's get into some of the secret sauce. So, uh, yeah, CAD balm has menthol in it. I do love a mentholated balm. I just like that little... I like that little pop of freshness, if you will, that little cooling effect. Just feels so great on the face after shave. And this is old, so it's kind of runny. But I'll be damned, it still works. Oh, there we go. There's that smell of CAD that I know and love. And that's why I left the fine splash out too, because the way the soap has changed, the fine will pair with it perfectly anyway. Oh yeah, that's just, it's just like Barbasol. If you remember what Barbasol smells like, just ramped up. So instead of that canned foam, uh, kind of, I mean, not really weak, but all the preservatives and crap and stuff, it's just like, it's like Barbasol, but, but the, the essence of Barbasol scent and just ramped up by about a thousand. Incredible shave. Very, very much enjoyed that one. All right. Well, that is the shave, my friends. Uh, I'd like to thank each and every one of you. If you are enjoying these videos and you're not a subscriber, please consider hitting the subscribe button and ringing that bell. Uh, almost 300. We get nine more to go. I would love to hit 300 and more because I do enjoy bringing these videos to you. So that's it from... Excuse me. That is it from this shave den. It's been a slice. Uh, we will see you in two weeks, is what I'm estimating, two weeks from today. There'll be a new video in the new den with a new perspective. So either it's going to be from over here, where the camera will be, because uh, the bathroom is reversed, or it'll be uh, straight on, because uh, the mirror is actually set further into the wall. So I may be able to do a straight on. So uh, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. As always, have a great day in an even better shave, and we'll catch you in two weeks' time. Ciao.